Hello, everyone. Today we are going to talk about a drama thriller film called Bitter Moon from 1992. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. Nigel and Fiona are a British married couple. They decided to diversify their lives a bit, as they have been married for seven years. They are going on a sailing trip to eventually reach India. While walking on deck, Fiona goes to the bathroom and does not return to her husband for a long time. The worried husband follows her and finds out that the stranger is seasick. The couple helps her and brings her back to life. Later, they have dinner with Mr. Singh, who does not share their views on India. Fiona is very tired and goes to her cabin to rest, but Nigel wants to drink a few glasses of whiskey. He goes to the bar. There he notices the stranger he helped during the day. He tries to flirt with her. The girl is not very impressed with the man because he is not capable of interesting dialogue, and his sense of humor leaves much to be desired. On the deck, Nigel meets a man in a wheelchair. It turns out that Oscar is Mimi's husband and a writer. He warns about the girl's bad temper and difficult character. The guy begins to help the disabled man get to his cabin and offers to talk over a glass of whiskey. Having an interested listener, Oscar decides to tell about his acquaintance with Mimi. One day he was riding a bus and noticed a beautiful blonde girl. She didn't have a ticket, so he helped her out by giving her his ticket. From that day on, the American, who moved to Paris to pursue a career as a writer, could not think of anything else. He constantly saw the image of this girl in front of him. Falling in love with the mysterious stranger, he waited for every bus to meet her again, but never did. Frustrated, Oscar asked a random girl to meet him. But at that moment, a miracle happened, and he recognized the waitress, who was the same stranger he had fallen in love with on the bus. The next evening, Oscar and Mimi decided to have dinner to get to know each other better. Despite the significant age difference, they became very close and started making love all day and night. Oscar began to feel like a happy man because he had the most beautiful and incredible girl by his side. Soon their intimacy began to take on an increasingly frantic and sometimes strange form. Hearing all this, Nigel feels uncomfortable. He thinks it would be best for him to leave. When he returns to the cabin, he tells his wife what happened and thinks Oscar is strange. The next morning, the man joins the couple for breakfast and admires Fiona's beauty. At the same time, he asks her to let Nigel go so that they can talk in private again. During the next story, the failed writer admits that he was bored with Mimi because the passion was gradually waning. While vacationing at a ski resort, the couple discovered new desires, such as handcuffs, whips, role-playing games, and other experiments. All this filled their relationship with meaning again. Deciding to take a break from it all, they went to a nightclub, where Oscar flirted with the girl's friend, and she danced with a black friend in revenge. Jealous, the man left the party, but Mimi apologized to him on her knees. Soon, she also got bored with the specific desires and experiments, and her feelings cooled down. Not wanting to be a dumping ground for strange stories, Nigel wants to leave Oscar's cabin and return to his wife. The man realizes that the Briton is not sincere with him because they both feel an irresistible interest in Mimi. If this were not the case, Nigel would not listen to all this and would have returned to his beloved wife long ago. The next morning, Fiona and Nigel meet Mr. Singh again and meet his little daughter. The girl is very kind to the child, but the couple do not have children of their own because Nigel is not ready for fatherhood. At some point, he returns to the hut to pick up his wife's coat and crosses paths with Mimi, who invites him to her place after five in the evening. After spending time with his wife and playing bridge with the other passengers, Nigel sees that the time has come and hurries out from behind the game table. Once in Mimi's cabin, he kisses her hand, but it turns out that the extravagant couple has played a cruel joke on him. The failed writer asks Nigel to stay, because only by listening to the story to the end will he be able to receive someone else's beauty. There is no point in refusing, because he really wants to be with Mimi. Every day, Oscar realized that he was less and less attracted to the girl. Soon, indifference appeared and burned him from the inside. At first, he didn't care what the girl was wearing or how she looked in front of her friends, and after a while, he was easily ready to say goodbye to her. Mimi is still madly in love with him and doesn't want to leave, and Oscar finally stops paying attention to her. Seeing his life pass him by, the man began to use the services of easily available girls. He did not hide this from Mimi. At some point, they quarrel, and Oscar hits the girl in the face. For some reason, she loses consciousness. Feeling guilty, the man tries to repair the relationship, but a few days later, he asks Mimi to leave him alone. Oscar sincerely hoped that he would never meet the waitress again, but his happiness did not last long, because a couple of days later, he found the girl on the mat by the front door like an abandoned dog. She was ready for any humiliation just to be with her beloved man. Taking this as a challenge, he decided to make Mimi's life a living hell. Oscar calls her a strange name in bed, insults her in private, and humiliates her in front of easily accessible girls. Having lost her beauty and turned into a tired housewife, Mimi confesses that she is pregnant. Oscar forces her to give up the child, which leads to her infertility. Oscar proposes to go on a trip, 
On the plane, he does not hide his bag, but pretends to be sick for a few minutes. Escaping from the plane, he watches Mimi fly away to a strange and unknown country. At that moment, the moon was beautiful, but it was sweet for him and bitter for her. Not believing this story to be real, Nigel leaves. In the corridor, he meets Mimi and kisses her. After that, he hurries to the restaurant to pick up his wife. It turns out that she was not bored either and had a great time with the hot Italian. Fiona is not as stupid as Nigel would like her to be. She sees that he is attracted to Mimi. Knowing this, she warns her husband that she will take revenge on him by inflicting incomparably more pain. Back in the cabin, Fiona feels sick and takes some seasickness pills that have a sleeping effect. Wanting to hear the story to the end, Nigel returns to the cabin of the failed writer. Having gained his long-awaited freedom, Oscar spent two years having fun and having everything he wanted. There were no obstacles or restrictions for him, but one day it all came to an end. Trying to stop another beautiful woman, he was hit by a passing bus and suffered a severe fracture. Mimi visits Oscar in the hospital and tells him how hard it was for her without him. While saying goodbye, she grabs her husband's arm and makes him fall. As a result, his injury worsened, leading to paralysis of his lower body. At this difficult moment, the girl did not leave her beloved, but began to take care of him. She was his nanny, housekeeper, and cleaner. At the same time, she never missed an opportunity to hurt her husband by pricking him in the same place. Mimi did not pamper Oscar with delicious food, but made him sit helplessly in a cold bathroom. At that moment, he watched her get ready for a night out. On his birthday, Mimi gave her lover a gun with a full clip. She subtly hinted that it was time to end his suffering. The revenge culminated in an evening during which Mimi invited a black friend to dinner, and after dancing made love to him so that Oscar could see and hear it. Despite the pain, suffering, and humiliation, he decided to marry Mimi. After hearing the whole story, Nigel returns to his cabin and finds his wife asleep. Taking advantage of this, he goes to a New Year's Eve party where he dances with Mimi and tries to seduce her. The man confesses his feelings to her, but it turns out that this only pushes the girl away. She likes to mock people's feelings. Oscar watches all this and decides to wake up the sleeping Fiona by sending her a bottle of champagne. Soon his wife appears at the party and starts dancing with Mimi. After a small storm and panic, the girls run away, and Oscar realizes that he has bet on the wrong person. Feeling like a helpless weakling, Nigel runs to the deck to scream. He falls asleep with a bottle of whiskey in his hands. When he wakes up, he rushes to Mimi's cabin and finds her sleeping in an embrace with his wife. Oscar watched their love affair and enjoyed it immensely. In a fit of jealousy, Nigel tries to strangle Oscar, but he scares him away with a gun. Determined to put an end to the affair, Oscar shoots his wife and then himself in the head. On the deck, Nigel and Fiona try to regain consciousness and are greeted by Mr. Singh's little daughter, who wishes them a happy new year. This is the end of the movie. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I'm happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Oleha Recapped was with you. See you soon.